As you watch the second half of this program, keep these questions in mind. How did the ancient Indian civilizations use math to help them further explore their religion? What mathematical practices rooted in ancient India are still in use today? During Europe's Dark Ages, mathematicians in the Indian and Arab worlds began to cultivate their own knowledge, setting up the basis of the mathematical practices still in use today. What do you know about India? They have Hinduism there, I think. I know that the Beatles went there in the 70s and it completely changed their music when they got back. It's basically the only landmass on its continental plate and that it's um, actually bumping up against Asia and creating, making the Himalaya mountains higher. Ancient civilizations of the Indus River Valley and the Indian subcontinent profoundly influenced the modern world. Scholars living in Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, cities established nearly 5,000 years ago, were responsible for many accomplishments in the arts, science, and mathematics. The number system we use today may have originated in this region, as well as the concepts of zero and infinity. For many years, historians credited ancient Egyptians and Greeks, as well as the Arabic people and the Moors in the Middle Ages, with providing the early building blocks for modern mathematical concepts. The Greeks' geometry and the Arabs' development of algebra, trigonometry, and the decimal system have been considered the earliest roots of modern math. But evidence has proved that the concepts of the decimal system, place value notation, and zero originated in India. The ancient civilizations of the Indus Valley were highly proficient in mathematics, and the creation of a decimal place value number system led to the development of other more complicated concepts in algebra, geometry, trigonometry, and number theory. Their earliest evidence of this mathematical proficiency was uncovered in the first half of the 20th century in the remains of the two urban centers at Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, which lie primarily in modern-day Pakistan. Dating back to approximately 2500 BC, the agricultural Harappan civilization developed the technology to fire mud bricks, which farmers used to build walls that controlled the annual river flooding. From a mathematical perspective, the most significant contribution of the Harappan culture was the development of a uniform system of weights and measures. These graduated cubical weights, each 10 times heavier than the one to its right, represent early evidence of a decimal system of numeration. This system would provide the template for the positional place value system that would form on the same soil many years later. Formal geometry, often regarded as a Greek invention, began during the Vedic period around 1500 BC. The Vedas are ancient Indian texts containing a record of human experience and knowledge, including mathematical sutras or sayings. These sutras contain simple rules and principles which could be easily memorized to solve long mathematical problems quickly. With the Vedas, came the first evidence of mathematics and science put to practical service in religion, an early form of Hinduism. Vedic practice required daily ritual offerings. Elaborate altars were constructed that required knowledge of geometry, as well as methods for calculating length and area. One altar was built to resemble a falcon because Vedic belief held that the bird would carry the soul of the believer to heaven. 